In this video, we're going to look at finding the factors of small numbers. The technical definition says that the factors of a number are all of the integers that divide exactly into that number without leaving a remainder. Let's break that down and see what it really means. What I'm going to do is take the number 8 and we're going to look at the factors of 8. The factors of 8 are simply the numbers that will go into 8. So let's start off. We can work forwards or we can work backwards. I'm going to work forwards and I say to myself, can I multiply 1 by anything to get 8? And the answer is yes. And quite clearly, that's 8. What we have is a pair of whole numbers or integers that multiply to give 8. Therefore, 1 and 8 are factors. I now take 2. Can I multiply 2 by anything to get 8? The answer is 4. You can, of course, ask yourself a question, can you divide 8 by 4? Yes, you can, and it gives you 2. So again, two whole numbers that multiply to give 8. If I then go to 3, I can't multiply 3 by any whole number to get 8, or, if you like, if you divide 8 by 3, you're not going to get a whole number. The next number that would come up is 4, and we can see from there that now 4 is a factor, and we would repeat this. So I can write out that the factors of 8 will be 1, 2, 4 and 8. So writing those down, the factors of 8, 1, 2, 4 and 8. These are all of the numbers that go into 8, leaving no remainder. So they're all whole numbers. Let's look at the factors of 12. So the factors of 12. So I'm working forwards again, 1 times by 12. 2 times by 6, 3 times by 4, and then, of course, I get to 4 times by 3. So all we would do is repeat ourselves, and I can write out that the factors in ascending order, so that's from smallest to largest, are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. So that gives me now the factors of 12. If we looked at the factors now of 18, so we'll take factors of 18, we're going to have the following. 1 times by 18, 2 times by 9, we would have 3 times by 6. I can't multiply 4 by any whole number to get 18, or if you like, 18 isn't divisible by 4. It's not divisible by 5, so the next number we'd have is 6. So we're back on ourselves. So the factors of 18, 1, 2, 3, 6, 9 and 18. If we look now at the factors of 25, so if we write these in, so factors of 25, I could have now 1 times by 25. I can't have 2 multiplied by any number, or if you like, we can't divide 25 by 2 to get a whole number. We can't do that with 3. We can't do it with 4. We can do it with 5, and that would be 5 times by 5. We can see that we're coming back on ourselves now, so we can write these out as follows. We can write 1, 5, and 25 are the factors now of 25. So all we're doing is list them out. You can work forwards or you can work backwards, and that will give you the factors of smaller numbers. If you're looking at the product or the prime factors of a certain number, there is a tutorial on that. This is just looking at the numbers that go into these small numbers, leaving no remainder. 